Oh, hey, I heard you like Cleese. Yeah, you like Cleese. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. You like Cleese. You know, Scouts back to three. Because yeah, if you like Cleese, this video is exact. Clee, what you're looking for, baby? Five the gates with Cleese. Let's go. I know what you're thinking. Cleese with five negates. What are you gonna do, Triff? Draw five solemn strikes? No, I'm not gonna draw five solemn strikes. I'm gonna draw one Clifford Scout because one Clifford Scout equals five monster negates, spamming the whole board of fatty, fat boys, fat clean monsters. And you know what? We pair them up with metal foes. Metal Cleese are back. I'm not talking about doing the five IQ play of, oh, did you know you could use Scout to add Monolith? I think Cyber Dragon Infinity? Oh, really? Nice 5 IQ play. How about you multiply that by a good thousand? 5,000 IQ play? Instead of just doing that, how about you How about you add Clifford Disc and break the most broken card in the whole Klee engine? You want to see 5 negates of Klee's? You smash that thumbs up button. You hit the subscribe button right now. And then, at 18,000 subscribers, at 18,000 at 18, subscribers, I will release a deck list for this video. This is now the beautiful combo that is going to blow your mind what Scout and Electro can do at 3. With that being said, enjoy the video. Klee's are busted people just don't know how to play it properly you end up boards like this look i took 2400 damage i used scout three times i could have used scout four times if i wanted to this board like this when this card comes out bow of the goddess card this card's crazy it might as well be called triff on legs uh i didn't realize you can't make two infinities so this would be a durendo like are you kidding me like this is what uh, bro utilizing like five plus Clee cards, it's insane. Uh, a board like this, which is even better because you get to use Monolith to draw three or draw four. It's at the end of the turn, so it's more safe, you know? Uh, this, you play traps, you got a floodgate on top of these. This is not out yet, but this is just the most like, like you have a follow up, you got Monolith, and they're all different routes, different plays to do each combo. And there's just unbelievable amounts of combos you can do with the deck. So if you guys like what you see, I'm gonna show you right now how to do these combos. Hit the subscribe button, okay? This deck is for real. I want you to smash that thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button even harder. The, bro, box the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. At 18,000 subscribers, guys, which I'm almost there, 600 subs away, I will release a deck profile for this list. I do think it is heavily, heavily, compet heavily competitive. I do think this is by far the best Klee version. 10 times better than Fudgate Klee's because it's just is infinity better. It's not even close. Man, you gotta show some love to this. Like, look at this. Like, this is pure Klee's, bro. Well, not pure. We're playing like 10 Klee cards plus Metal Bows and, and then Turbo cards. It's like 10 Klee cards, even more, 11 or something like that. Uh, turbo cards and then like 15 like Metal Bow cards. Like, it's insane. Like, people just don't use Klee's properly. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the deck profile. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the combo tutorial. So, this is a uh, hand over here. Just an average hand, you know. Uh, you have uh, two ways to scalp, but you don't need two. You just need one. Uh, in order to do this combo, there's lots of different ways to do it, as I said. Like, all of these have different hands to do the combo with. So, you guys are just gonna see for yourself. There's different ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you guys just a normal way here. Uh, most, like 90% of hands do it, just in different ways. And if you don't have the full combo for what you're about to see here, you can still do it in just like different alternative ways which will end on different boards, but it's still crazy powerful boards. And the second this card comes out, uh, which is like a weak, a Palooza, Bow of the Goddess, the boards are unreal. Like you literally end on like, like God, Bow of the Goddess, two negates and like a play these every single turn. Yeah, this one didn't have an Akahas or, or a card sign after. Cause we can't do it and uh, uh the way we wanted to and yes i understand this is not this should be a Pleiades. just say or sorry a, a durandal a uh, durandal is amazing i think it's just another negate uh who cares if they get rid of like you or you get like it's just amazing who cares if they get rid of one of your cards you just use uh counter you know so it's like no matter what they destroy a counter and durandal is amazing together and yeah just boards like this anyways i'll show you guys right now how to do it so uh, i'm gonna go little by little as you guys see I don't need to explain the combo at this point. Like, yeah, you know, like little by little. You want to use Cerberus first to bait out Ash because Metal Foes uh, makes. Uh, if they ask Cerberus playing Metal Foes, it doesn't matter at all. He says Symphonic Warrior Mikes because this allows you to normal twice in the turn, which is really the only brick per se you play. And Mikes is never a brick. You just pendulum summon the Mikes and you get it. Like, it's never actually a brick. And low scales are kind of. Scale boards are low scales in this deck. Like, uh, the cards you pendulum summon out most of the time are over uh, scale over level five or higher so 
drawing a, a mythical beast or a mics is actually a, just a low scale in itself so it doesn't really matter so you like really play in the deck list you play way more high scales and low scales just because scale four slash fives are also low scales in this deck uh now you use your first scout search if electrum ever got hand trapped by the way nothing happened it doesn't matter it wouldn't affect shit it really doesn't matter at all simply because uh, just the way the deck is built the, the combo is not reliant on it if they veil it and you can't send mics it doesn't matter they lose a card and all you do is just you don't normal summon again and you're gonna end up pendulum summoning a jackal instead of the mic so it doesn't really matter the end board is still gonna end up like sick this is just cooler and uh, they ogre it it still doesn't matter it'll hurt more than a veiler but you still end on a crazy board just the way the deck is designed uh it just doesn't hurt as much it's the way you could do the combos after utilizing like mithrilium and stuff like that to you electrum again just basically do the same shit again uh you're gonna see right now, i'm gonna use scout three times in the turn mithrilium electrum twice in the turn it's insane man and maybe i'll be able to use electrum three times like old times with an emerald too uh, they, we're not gonna pay for gold drive. We're gonna get the high scale instead. Uh, it's better to always have high scales, like I said. You always have gate zero as well. Like low scales is not an issue in this deck. So you always want to play way more, have more way more high scales work through. There you use scout for a second time. As you notice, we didn't get monolith. That plays like garbage. You get disc for the first one and sacrifice for the second one. You're playing Klee's here. You know you're playing more of a Klee engine. And sacrifice is great with metal pools. Like there's so many ways to get to destroy it if you ever hard draw it uh, and just still get its effect. Uh, summoners are. You get full flame. And you're gonna go. Here's a good pen summon. You just pen summon three. Just pen summon three. You don't even need too much. Like, look, we only pen summon three monsters. It's gonna end on crazy, a crazy board. So this version, we're gonna uh, use fusion first. If you want to end on this board, this is played easy. Or sorry, this is Durandal again. My bad. If you want to end on this board, I'm waiting for this to, for this card to come out to like really show how to do this board. But you don't go, go through this route. I'll show how to do that combo when the card comes out. But for the other more cooler plays, where you utilize scout three times on the turn, end on four cards now because of monolith. This is the correct way to do it. So you go Metrolium first to recycle the Electrum because we're gonna be using the Electrum again. Okay. So you're gonna put back the metal folds you had in your scale back to your hand. And you're gonna send the Electrum back to your extra because you're gonna use it again. Put, put Fusion back to your deck uh, with an Electrum. You don't draw one. You just put them both back uh, with Mithrilium's effect. I know noobs are gonna be like, oh, you can use a Fusion draw effect once per turn. We're not using the draw effect right now. We're putting it back with Electrum and it's, it's own uh, Mithrilium. Uh, now Sacrifice in the Scout. Uh, actually, no, not yet, not yet. We're gonna wanna yeah, link those into Hita. No, it doesn't change too much, but Mithrilium and Volflame into Hita and then put the Volflame here. Okay, and now you're gonna then you're gonna tribute summon here. We screwed up our uh, put monolith there and scout here, so they're gonna change spots. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do next is um, like I said, imagine the scout right here is a monolith. Okay, so I did a little scout is supposed to be here, monolith is supposed to be here. Okay, it doesn't change anything, but don't forget that. So now scout's in the extra deck, monolith is underneath here. Now you tribute summon again because mics give you a second normal summon in the turn. So mics give you a second normal summon in the turn. If you had the normal summon to make electrum, it doesn't matter. You just do your combo a little bit differently, and uh, it's still gonna end on a shit ton of negates, just not through this method. Uh, this is just the most typical method because you play so many turbo cards it's insane uh i like the rendel because you're gonna uh the end board is gonna have double scout if you want so uh they're gonna have to the rendel's gonna negate their card then you're gonna pop your own scout so it's gonna utilize so you're gonna get so much free plusing you know or you're gonna end on like a scout and monolith which you don't want to really have so you can end on a scout and a monolith so since you're gonna end on a scout and a monolith then uh scout monolith Durando's gonna pop the other one uh, but negating their monster or spell trap effect and uh, forcing them to pop a uh, scouter monolith freeing it up for a metal fold to pop the other one later and still plusing like crazy so the rendel with with art uh, with uh uh cleese are absolutely is absolutely broken uh so next you're gonna get the, another fusion with the stealing you brought back you're gonna go absolute and that into decode and bring a vortex and now the scout and the monolith here you can go into another infinity if you want to but we're too big brain for that scout and monolith can go into infinity but we're gonna go into electrum instead the same electrum that we saved with the mithrilium and we're gonna send rescue hamster rescue hamster now is gonna pop the steel in and add two scouts as i said remember i said in the beginning of the combo that was a monolith underneath it i didn't realize i was just like blind i was doing the combo quickly but th that was the scout like that was the i said in the beginning of the combo this is not a misplay i'm just showing you guys i said in the beginning of the combo so hamster will add back two scouts and then two scouts you activate one of them to get monolith the best play to do here is monolith here because model you attributed three cleaves this turn so you end up drawing three plus the fusion you're gonna end up drawing another one so you're gonna draw four cards after you end on the negates plus the outcast here so that's the best play but you can do this multiple different ways okay you can do it multiple ways you can also uh, use another scout to get a disc and then just have an extra card and then have them pop another scout to be able to ensure you can have a scout for next turn because they're gonna pop your scouts. You're getting the scouts running forever. So there's lots of options you could do here, or another option which I love as well. You can get Recreate, which is a floodgate. 
on legs. Well, not on legs, it's a funky. <laughs> but it, it ends on this board. We're gonna end on that. We're gonna get a recreate. Where what you do is, instead of getting the disc, you start to recreate. But I don't even like that because you're not gonna be able to draw from the monolith. So the best version altogether is uh, you get double scout. What? Well, it is like over here, double scout. Uh, get Infinity instead of Durando, because if you have a Durando, they're gonna pop your recreate. They're showing you guys different options for the combo here. If you guys can keep up with the big brain. You go Alcahas before you set recreate, uh, obviously. And then you go, yeah, then you have Alcahas, Vortex, Infinity, Deco, recreate. What I personally think is the best though, is uh, when the Scout, you get double Scout. Scout one searches Monolith, Monolith and Scale. Al uh, fusion, the other Scout in your hand and the, Al and the Electrum into Alcahas, because they're all normal monsters. And then you end on Durendal, not the Infinity, Durendal, Vortex, Decode, and Alcahest, and then draw four. So you can have four cards in this, similar to this board, except you also have a Scout, and this is a Durendal instead. So you have four cards in your hand, a Scout over here, and a Durendal. And the Durendal would force them to pop a Monolith in the Scout. And what's the chances you drew four and none of them was a Metal Four? That's insane. So most likely the next one is the Metal Four. Most likely, like, you're drawing four in a Metal Four deck. I couldn't, like, it's like 1% trip math. You're gonna draw a Metal Four, and then since Durendo's gonna pop the other one, you go Metal Four, pop the other, the other, uh, Klee card, and then you Pendulum Summon and win.